Oof. Now then my friends, probably the most asked question about Tenerife is what is the weather like in Las Americas and Costa Adeki in December and January? And what can I expect for 2020? Well, I can tell you this, this and more of this. Sunshine galore. And I'm going to show you around and show you exactly what the weather is like. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, well it's December the 20th. January is pretty much the same as this and I can tell you now, it is warm, the sun's beating down and it's really, really nice. I've just uh, called back to the UK and the weather's terrible. What a shame. Your heart is gonna find a way. Don't you worry now by setting love free. Yeah, that's when you're gonna start to see. You know, it's actually that warm. I think I'm gonna need an ice cream to cool me down. And I might even have to do the Brit thing and take my shirt off. So there's a warning there, don't be eating any food. Okay, just to give you an idea, it's um, 24 degrees here, right? Sunny and 24 degrees. It's gonna be like that for the next seven days, literally. In fact, we've got a high of 26. And then back in the UK, back in my hometown of uh, Nottingham, we're looking at eight degrees. So a uh, little bit of a difference. Get yourself out here, come on. I have to say, I don't envy the people in those panda suits. They must be uh, sweating their backside off. Okay, so just walking past player de Troyer now. Six euros. If you want a um, parasol by the looks of it. Who wants to shade from the sun? Give me that sunshine on my back. Been past this bar many, many a times on the vlog. It's called the drop-in. If you've seen my vlogs before, you'll have seen it. Highly recommend it. Great place, good entertainment. Said it before, say it again.
can't believe that it is December and people are actually sat outside having a drink in the shorts and the shirt, short sleeves, looking at this view. Check it out. This, folks, is what you are going to get in December and January 2020 right here in Tenerife, in Las Americas and Costa Adeki. You're gonna get the sunshine, you're gonna get blue skies, and you're gonna get this view with a beer in your hand, or a wine, whatever takes your fancy. So if you've got your holiday booked, then you're gonna have a great time. And if you haven't, get it booked now. tell you if you haven't got your holiday booked definitely get it booked now for 2020 and I'm going to tell you now visit this link below Francesca Shanahan travel I'll put the link below I'm not sponsored to say this otherwise I'd have to tell you I'm sponsored it's part of the YouTube rules it's a friend of mine's wife and she is excellent I've said it before she's got many many years in the travel industry Francesca Shanahan travel she'll put a package together for you that is first class and you won't get any nasty surprises Right, onwards, because today, I think I deserve a beer. Come on. I know you want to look at the view, but come on, we've got places to go, come on. Come on. Bora Bora, been past that before. Told in the comments that it's very good. probably wondering whether the ocean is actually warm enough to swim in. Well, I'm not going to go swimming, but what I might do for you, and this is a big thing for me because I don't like, I'm always worried of jellyfish, but I'm going to put my feet in the ocean and tell you whether it's warm, cold, and whether you could go for a swim. Got to give me a thumbs up for that, come on. There you go, 23 degrees in December, folks. 23 degrees. That is what I'm talking about. There you go, sex on the beach. Has anyone had that? Comments down below. Careful now. I could see this through. I could wait another night. One more night, one more night. I could fight it through. Turns to light One more night One more night
probably a shirt for me, that one. I'm always being called a grumpy old get. Who'd have thought? This is actually one of my favourite parts here. I really like this with the ocean comes crashing in. I always say take a look at this but I'm going to say it again, take a look. Right, onwards, onwards and upwards. It's December. I keep saying it, it's December and the weather is just phenomenal. I don't want to go back to England. Oh. It's my birthday on Christmas Day and this has got to be the best Christmas present or best birthday present or both. That's what they used to do to me when, uh, you know, growing up, you get, here's a present it's for Christmas and your birthday. Well, this is both. This is great. Right, in the words of that uh, 90s boy band, five, got to keep on moving. Showing my age now. Day, all night pints, one euro. You can live like a king on 20 euros a day here. That's a great Christmas jumper. He needs more of a Bahama shirt though, don't he? He needs a Santa in a Bahama shirt here. <laughs> Alright, Del Boy, how's the price? Oh, it is absolutely... Whew, it's warm. Yes. I'm refraining from taking my shirt off. I don't think I could subject you to that. So we're walking from Las Americas um, over to yeah, Portugal on, and then through to Costa Adeki. Those who uh, already subscribed to me will know this, uh, this walk. So this is December. This is just it's paradise. Paradise in December. What is the weather like where you are? 
pop your comments down below where you're from and tell me what the weather's like there in December and January where you are. really want a beer. I refrained from it yesterday because I overdid it on the first day. <laughs> That's my advice from this uh, visit and from this trip is drink responsibly otherwise you're ruined for the rest of the vacation for the holiday. You're just done. Money. Money. <sighs> okay that sun on my back. Oh, it's warm. I'm going to undo my buttons a bit. So I apologise, but it is that warm. You wanted to know what the weather was like in December and January? Well, it's like this. Don't be bringing any long sleeves or jumpers. Bring a light jacket for the evening. But believe me, you probably won't even need that. Come on, onwards. It's the money. People off out jet skiing there in Santa hats. <laughs> Just doesn't feel right, does it? There you go, I've never seen that open for a while. The pool centre. Who's been in there? Comments down below. It's the money. Money. So I'll answer your question again because it's constantly, constantly asked about Tenerife. What is the weather like in December in Tenerife? What is the weather like in January in Tenerife? What can I expect in 2020 in Tenerife? I can tell you now in one word, sunshine. There you go. That's what it's going to be like in the south of Tenerife, right here in Las Americas and Costa Adeki. It's like this. I've got sun on my face and it's the 20th of December. What about that? Right, you know it, onwards. In my head I'm thinking, ice cream or pint of beer? Has anyone seen any of them acts? Are there any good? Comments down below.
Okay, now we're walking up past the uh, Kaluna Beach Club, which apparently is the place to be if you're into partying and uh, that's your thing. I think me coming up to 50, I'm probably a little past it. But then again, who knows? Well, it certainly sounds like it's bouncing. That was my dad dancing, that was. Is it any good? Have you been to the Kaluna Beach Club? Let me know, comments down below. You know it's a high class place when they've got Moe and Shandon on the uh, sun loungers. I think I'm more Prosecco. Uh, <laughs> Aldi Prosecco. Nothing wrong with that. What's the weather like in December in Tenerife? This. What's the weather like in Las Americas in Tenerife in uh, December and January? This. What's it like in Costa Adeki? What's the weather like in Costa Adeki in December and January in Tenerife? This. Sunshine. I made my mind up. Forget the ice cream. I'm going for an ice cold beer at the end of this walk. There you go, you could be sat outside the Moonlight Fun Pub in December or January, looking at this view. Apparently this is a great bar for uh, football. Champions, grill and cabaret. So I'm told. Some of my viewers have told me in the comments down below before. And there is a great steakhouse up here. I'd say one of the best on the island. Let's take a look. La Brasserie Grill and Pizzeria. Again, I've been told this is really good. If I get time, I'm actually going to go and review it and review a steak in there. Yeah, 
got to try this place. But no time at the moment because we've got to keep going. So onwards. never get used to Christmas decorations in Tenerife in December when the sun is blaring down. It's very surreal. Yeah, Tony that's Roma. Best, yeah. Boom, that's it. <laughs> I have been told the ribs are very good at Tony Roma's. Somebody told me in the comments. Have you been? What do you think? Comments down below. Is it time for a beer yet? That is a great view. The green of the grass, the blue of the sky, and a contrast of the blue of the ocean. Heaven, paradise. Just look at the, the sun glittering on the ocean here. Take a closer look. I could literally sit on that grass all day. 
Let's take a wander down here, look. You've even got the, the reds of the flowers now and the, the pinks. It's beautiful, look. I did say I'd get my shoes and socks off and tell you what the water's like. We'll go a little bit further first. <sighs> Onwards. to this corner and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go and test out the ocean for you and that is where I'll end the vlog. I mean people are in it. It'd be nice actually to cool off but I haven't brought my swimming trunks with me so unfortunately I won't be doing that today. Shabby for December, is it? I promised you I would test out the water for you, so I'm going to test the water. Let's do this. Okay, well I've been to Tenerife lots and lots of times and I think I've only been in the ocean once, which was about 20 years ago. I always hear about jellyfish and stuff and it puts me off. Okay, I'm a bit of a wuss. I mean, I am from Mansfield. Oh wow, this is lovely.
get back the life I used to know. I think somebody's lost the sunglasses there. Right. Oh, let's just do it. We're all in this high stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this high stand alone. Ouch, it's a bit pebbly. <laughs> right, here we go. Come on, give me a thumbs up. I'm only doing this for you. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, oh, oh, <laughs> ow. <laughs> well, it's slightly cold, but not freezing. <laughs> it just took me by surprise. <laughs> there we go, and on that bombshell, <laughs> that's the end of today's vlog. Remember, like, subscribe. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.